Good morning, Facebook. I mean, YouTube. So, I'm going to make a video. I feel like I've just been... So, I've been with the Lord in a little bit, and I just want to preach this little video. Make this video a little bit. It's called... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sound a trumpet real quick. I'm going to sound a trumpet. Because it's time. It's time. And it's almost time, folks. The big day is coming. The day when Jesus shall appear in the clouds and we shall all go home. The day when the trumpets of Zion are blown in the sky. Okay, I'm going to start with Joel 2. Joel chapter 2 verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of th clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and strong and strong there hath never there hath not been ever the like, neither shall it be any any more after it, even to years of many, many generations. A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as, a, is as the Garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is as, is as the whole appearance of horses, and the, as horsemen. And as horsemen, so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on the tops of the mountains, shall they leap. Like the noise of rubble, like the noise of a flame of fire that devoureth the stubble, as a strong people set in, set in battle array. Before their face, the people shall be much pained, for all faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men, they shall climb the wall like men of war, they shall be marched, every one in his own ways, on his ways, and they shall not break the ranks. Neither shall one thrust another, they shall walk every one in his path, and when they fall the, upon the sword, they shall not be wounded." They shall run to and fro in the city. They shall cl they shall run upon the wall, and they shall climb up upon the ho upon the houses. They shall enter in at the windows like a thief. The, the earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be darkened, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. And the Lord shall utter His voice before His army, for, for His camp is very great, for He is strong, e executed through His word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible. Who can abide it? Excuse me. Amen. Okay. Let's go to Jude. Chapter Jude. Jude 1, verse 8. Jude 1, verse 15. 14. We'll start with verse 14, a little bit of 14 and 15. Let me turn off the battery saver. Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all, and to convince all their ungodly among them all of their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed, and of all the hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lust, and their mouths speaking perverse, great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. But beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, how that they told you were, how they how they were, how they told you there should be mockers in the last time, who should walk after their own ungodly lusts. Oops, sorry, sorry about that. I need I need one of those phone holders. Who shall walk after their own, own ungodly lusts? These shall be these they these be they who separate themselves sensual. Sensual, not having not the spirit, but ye, but ye beloved, building up yourselves on, on our most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, keep yourselves in the keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. Okay, I'm gonna just go by what the Holy Spirit tells me to show you, preach to you. First. So First John two fifteen, love not the world, neither things that are in the world. For if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world is for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. 
Mhm. Mm okay. Second, first, let's go to First Corinthians. Let's go to First Corinthians. First, I mean Thess Thess Thessalonians. Sorry. Five seventeen. Then we are, oh wait, hold on, let me go to, no, let's go to John 14, 2. John 10, 10, the thief cometh but, but not to, not, the thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have a life and they, that they might have it more abundantly. I gave unto them eternal life and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. That's verse 28. Jesus, John 14. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many, in my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I, that where I, I am, there ye may also be. And whether I go, ye know, and in the and ye know, and the way ye know. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye love me, keep my commandments. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall lo be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. When the Son of Man shall come, Matthew 25, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and, the, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and all and all, and he shall separate them from one one from another, as the shepherd divideth his sheep divideth his sheep from the goats, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye say, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you before the foundation of the world. For I was hungered, and ye gave me meat. And I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. And shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, I, when saw we thee, and hungered, and fed thee, or thirsty, and drink, gave thee drink? When saw we thee, a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee, sick, or in prison, and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto him, unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Then shall he say unto his, also unto, his, unto them on, on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungered, and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in, not in, naked, and ye clothed me not, sick, and in prison, and ye, ye shall and ye visited me not. And then, then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee in hunger, or thirst, or a thir or stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, and as much as ye did it not not to one of the least of these. Ye did it not to me, but and these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into a eter life eternal. That's the description of the last judge. Okay. Matthew twenty-five, parable of the ten virgins. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that took, they that were foolish, took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise all took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a, there was a cry made made, Behold, the Lord cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all the then all those virgins tr trimmed their rose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered and saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. Go, but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for, for yourselves. 
while they went to buy the bride went to buy the bridegroom came and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage and the door was shut afterward came also the other virgins saying lord lord open unto us but he answered and said verily yes, i say unto you i know you not watch therefore for you know need you know neither this day nor the hour when the son of man doth come pay attention to that folks Luke 13, Luke 13, 24. There's narrow gate. Strive to enter in at the straight gate. For many as say unto you will seek to enter in, and shall not be able to be able. When once the master of the house has risen up, and has shut to the door, and ye begin to stand without, do not stand at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. And he shall answer, and say unto you, I know you not whence you are. Then shall ye begin to say, We have eaten and drunken in thy presence. We have eaten and drunken in thy presence, and thou hast taught it in our streets. But he shall say, I tell you, I know you not, whence ye are. Depart from me, ye all ye workers of iniquity. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And when ye shall see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and ye yourselves thrust out, and they shall come from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south, and, the, and shall sit down in the kingdom of God, behold, there are, there are last which shall be first, and there are first which shall be last. Matthew 7. Enter, and yet, enter ye in at the straight gate, for the wide for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets. Not everyone that saith, be, be doers of the word. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say unto me that day, Lord, 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 have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name have done, done many wonderful works? And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Therefore whosoever hath heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto, unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And in the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell not. But it was founded upon a rock. Every one that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell, and the great and great was the fall of it. Okay. Hold on, let me go. Let me go further. Let me keep going. So I'm going to go as long as the Lord tells me to go. Let's see. First Corinthians 15. Now, uh, resurrection of the dead, just here. Victory over death. First Corinthians fifteen fifty one to fifty eight. Behold, I show you a mystery. This is the rapture. Uh, we shall not all sleep, but, in, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the, la the, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised and incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this, cor for, this for this corruptible must put on incorruptible corruption, and this mortal must put on mort immortality. So when this incorruptible shall, put on, shall put, have put on the incorruption, this mortal shall put, have put on the immortality, then shall be brought past, brought to the pass, the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is the sin, the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God which giveth us, this, us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. More far as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Okay. Five, five, 
First Corinthians, First Thessalonians, four seventeen. Then which then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up in together in the, with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. And then I'm gonna finally end with then I'm gonna end with this. I'm gonna end with this verse. Revelation twenty. Final judgment. And the th and when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. No. And the devil that deceived him was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night, forever and ever. I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, whose face the earth and the earth and fled and heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before the God. And the, and the books were open, which was which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. Death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged, every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the lake in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Okay, I said, okay, one last, one last verse. Ecclesiastes 12. Ecclesiastes 12. Remember now, thy, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the, while the evil days come not, 